people are occupied and speaking English. Uh, it's time to buy uh, Lulave Trog right now. The question is, how do you buy Lulave Trog? Do you just walk out somebody is selling, he said, yeah, that's good, and you buy and you pay him? Or do you look, and what do you look for? So the first thing you look for is, uh, at the top of the Etrog, where the pitom is on the top, when you hold it straight up, right? If you draw a circle uh, around it, um, that makes how it works. From the pitom until the bottom where it becomes uh, even, even out, you have to make sure there's no uh, blemishes. Now the private show, there are no никакие вот эти leaf marks, черные, желтые, разные вот эти вот marks, красные, зеленые, что он был полностью чистый был сверху. The top should be clean. There should be no leaf marks, should be no uh, pimples growing on it, black pimples or red pimples, it should be totally clean. Now the top pitom and the orchids on the bottom oh, should be aligned together, like this. If you look, some etrogim are like this, right? So the pitom is over there, the orchids is over here, the tail. Tail is over here, the head is over there. We want it to be straight, like this. So etrog has to be straight. Number two, etrog is something like an apple. And like a lemon, meaning in shape, it should be round from the bottom, and then slowly, slowly, it comes together at the top, right? It should not be round like an apple. Okay, it's like an apple round, then it's not good at all, right? Plus, at all, it can't be too smooth. It has to be, it has to have bumps on it. Bumps show it's at all, because if there's no bumps, it's a, it's a lemon. It's not an at all. So these laws are very, very important. Now, the fourth very important law is if the piton falls off on the first day of the sukkah, it's not kosher. But you could use it on the second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. You could, but the first day is minatora, it's from the Torah. Первый день, этрог брат руки с люлав и дел браха, это закон сторы. А второй, третий, счет и так далее, это уже закон раба. И поэтому, если этрог люлав у вас не кошерный, вы можете его использовать второй день и ан. А если, но первый день он должен быть сто процентов кошерным. First day the etrog lulav must be 100 percent kosher. If it's not, я только что я объяснял вам. Вы же заняты были. Понимаете? So the first day must be kosher. From the second on, if even it's not kosher, you could borrow etrog, you could lend your etrog to somebody else. Then everything is kosher. But on the first day, there's no lending or borrowing. Meaning you have to first use the etrog, and then if you want to give a gift to somebody else, it becomes his. Then he could use also from the Torah. But if you just lend him, it's not good. It should be a real gift for him to make the mitzvah. Do they 